Alright guys, welcome back. What you're looking at on your screen right now is some beautiful Battlefield 1 gameplay. Battlefield 1, one of my favorite games of the last, at least of this generation for sure. Maybe not one of my favorite games of all time, but definitely a fantastic game. Now I'm not some huge Battlefield player or Battlefield expert here, but Battlefield 1 is one of the only games that I've played in recent memory that has truly immersed me. It truly makes you feel like you're there. And that is especially true on this map. This map is called Passchendaele, so enjoy the gameplay in the background you guys, and you might be thinking to yourself, why are you posting Battlefield gameplay in your channel today? Well, first of all, I've sort of rediscovered the game as of late. I hadn't touched it in quite a long time, but I've been playing it again recently and it is a great game. But more importantly, if you guys follow me on Twitter, then yesterday you would have seen this interaction that I had, this tweet that I posted. It was a quote tweet. The original tweet was from the official Battlefield 5 Twitter, and it said, Get ready to feel the rush on March 7th. Your favorite 32-player mode returns to Battlefield 5 for a limited time only. For a limited time only. Rush. Now, if you guys are not familiar with Rush, Rush is... Rush is pretty much a staple game mode in Battlefield. I know it came into Battlefield 1 somewhat late, but Rush has been a game mode that's been in pretty much every Battlefield title since the beginning of time with the franchise, or pretty damn close to it, right? The purpose of today's video is to say that this is bullshit. I want someone to explain to me, and this is rhetorical, obviously, no one has the answer, we're all pissed off, but I seriously want a developer to explain to me why you would ever take a staple game mode that your game is known for, Battlefield is known for Rush, why would you take that game mode and make it a limited time mode, and then act like it's some big fucking deal? I mean, you're not gonna tell me that every single Battlefield player wasn't expecting this mode to be in Battlefield 5 when it launched. It should have been, it just should have been, because it should have been. I mean, there's no other way to put it. It just should have been. I'm sure most people watching this video are familiar with this meme here that you're seeing on your screen. So it says pretty much that back then you got the original game was a complete burger, you know, and then you got the add-ons, right? The expansion packs, the fries and the soda. So at least you get a complete burger at launch, right? Nowadays, the burger is empty. That's the original game. The bacon is the pre-order bonus and all the toppings are DLC, right? You know, everybody has seen this meme at some point. I don't want to be one of those people to be like, wow, it's really like that now, isn't it? Like, yes, we know it's like that. We know things have changed in the video game world, but it, it's just true. I mean, this is literally an accurate representation of what Battlefield is doing with the Rush game mode. And I wouldn't really care unless unless I found the striking similarity with what is going on in Black Ops 4 now with, with gun game of all game modes, right? So this is Activision's version of doing exactly what EA is doing. Rush used to be a staple mode in Battlefield, now it's only here for a limited time, and gun game used to be the staple game in COD. Now we get Blackjack's gun game every whatever it is, couple of months. I mean, give me a break, man, honestly. Like, is that, has it really come down to this? Do developers think that this is what we want? Do they think this is gonna keep us interested in the game? There have just got to be so many innovative ideas, so many limited time modes that you could put in a first person shooter like Battlefield or COD, and apparently you're you're out of ideas. I don't know. Hey, how about this? How about this EA or Activision? Why don't you hire me? I have tons of good ideas, okay? Go watch my videos. I will personally come up with the best fucking game modes you've ever heard of, and then you could do those as limited time modes and let everybody have the game modes that they're used to having, that they want to have when the game comes out, and they can be permanent, huh? How about that? It's just astonishing, man, it really is, and I know I've seen some YouTubers kind of mention it, like, oh, that's kind of weird, gun game is just coming into Black Ops 4, that wasn't there all along, but I, I truly feel like this topic needs to be talked about more. When you're true, you're, you're literally, okay, I'm trying to find the right words here, guys. You are literally, they are taking away the game modes that people have come to expect, and then when they bring them back, they put out these tweets to hype them up and get people all excited about it. Like, dude, nobody's excited to play that anymore, man. Like, we, we all expected these things to be in the game when it came out, and we thought that the live service model, because that's what everyone's doing now, it's all about live service. We thought that that model was going to bring some true innovation. Instead of just taking away what you've already given us, maybe, you know, actually get something that's actually truly new. But no, 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 no. We can't do that. It makes way too much sense, guys. Let's just take away the modes that people know the franchise for, right? Let's just take Gun Game out of the game. Let's just take Rush out of the game. It's, it's crazy, man. It's upside down. Get ready for Modern Warfare 4, dude. I can't wait until the Domination limited time mode comes out or the Kill Confirmed limited time mode. That's it's going to be amazing. You know, I, I just can't wait for that. Maybe they'll even bring
bring back Search and Destroy for like a month, and then all the people who give up on the game when it comes out because it's incomplete at launch will miss out on playing that because they already gave up on the game and they don't care anymore, right? Developers, man, developers, I, I tell you, man, I, I'm, I'm going to tell you guys this right now for you young dudes out there. When you get a little bit older, maybe you're in college now, maybe you're going to get a job soon. Once you're in the real world, you're going to realize how stupid people truly are. I mean that, man. I'm in my 20s. I've been working in corporate environments for a couple of years now, and I've seen across the board, just at all different companies and different organizations, what kind of stupid people can be in charge and what kind of stupid decisions can be made. And when you take a step back and really think about it, you're just like, wait a second, is this actually good for the customer? Do we think players are actually going to benefit this? It seems like nobody takes a step back and actually considers things like that. In this situation with Rush and Battlefield 5, it's one step forward and two steps back. You know, I don't even know if it's one step forward, man. This just might be two steps back. One step because they did it initially and the second step because it's so incredibly stupid that I can't even believe they did it in the first place. That is it for the video, dudes. You guys drop your thoughts in the comments down below and as always, we will get a discussion going and we'll get it all out. We'll get through this. The stupidity of modern day game developers has just never ceased to amaze me as of late. It really hasn't. So let's talk. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. Follow me on Twitter. Link is down below and I will see you dudes in the next video. Love you. Bye.